Alrighty, this is what I wanted to show you, friends. The youngest class planted some seeds the first week of March, so it's been four weeks, and they planted some zinnias and marigolds and oregano and basil, and the seeds were growing, but they were pretty lonely at the nursery school, so I brought them home, and they're hanging out in front of my window, and uh, I'm giving them some extra love. Did you know that plants grow better? when you're kind to them, when you talk to them. Isn't that neat? Maybe everybody needs love, even plants. They are next to the plants, the seeds that I planted with Sarah hmm, six days ago now, I guess. We planted some herbs and look at the cucumber. Those are only six days old, those little guys. They are really growing fast. We planted some tomatoes some pansies. Oh, our tomatoes just popped up. I didn't see those this morning. That's cool. Do you like to plant with your moms and dads, boys and girls? Have you started planting yet? Miss Patricia would like to know. Let me know in the comments, my friends. Okay, so we are going to read. Hi, Lulu. Oh, she got nervous. We are going to read Will Bear Share. It's a book we read a lot in the youngest class. And, uh, it's a pretty good one. Let's see what it's all about. All right, here we go. This is Bear. Bear has a lot to give. That's a pretty cool playroom. Look at everything that Bear has. Wow, lots of things. Do you have some things like Bear does? Does anyone at home have a tea set? Like that? Or a ball? Paint brushes? Are you doing lots of arts and crafts with your families right now, friends? I'd love to see some pictures. Let's see. But will she share? That's the question of the day. Will Bear share? Do you share at home, boys and girls? It can be really hard to share sometimes. Will Bear share her berries? Hmm, let's see. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Look at Ladybug. She's looking ever so hopeful. I think Bear might have some berries in her mouth. You think she'll share? Let's see. Would you share if you had berries? Yes! Yay! Bear will share! Look how happy Ladybug is. Good job, Bear. Let's see what else Bear has. Will Bear share her book? I wonder. Look at Giraffe sitting there. Kind of lonely. I'm sharing my book with you all today. Would you share a book if you had one, boys and girls? Let's see. Yes! Yay! Good job, Bear. Bear is sharing her book. How do you think Giraffe feels about that? That smiley face. Usually when friends are smiling, that means they're pretty happy. Do you see what kind of book it is? What do you see? Just like the book we read yesterday. A train book. Will Bear share her toothbrush? Hmm. That's a tricky one. There's Alligator. Alligator has lots of teeth. I bet Alligator really needs a toothbrush. But will Bear share? Let's see. No, uh, 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 no way. Toothbrushes are not for sharing. Good job, Bear. Bear knows your mouth has germs inside. And when your toothbrush touches your germs, the germs are on the toothbrush. Alligator is sad, but actually Bear is being a good friend by not sharing her toothbrush. Sorry, Alligator. Let's see. Will Bear share her favorite toy? Look at Bear's eyes. Hmm, not sure how Bear is feeling. Frog is looking pretty hopeful. Let's see. Would you share your most favorite toy, friends? That might be really hard to do. Let's see. Oh, yes, Bear will share. That was so kind of you, Bear. Look, Frog needed the fire truck's ladder. 
to get her kite out of the tree. That was so nice of you, Bear. Good job, friend. Let's see what else there is. Oh, rainy day, like outside my house today. Will Bear share her umbrella? Ella, Ella, let's see. Lamb is awfully wet. Lamb does not have an umbrella. Would you share your umbrella with a friend today? Let's see, let's see. Oh, yes. Look at that. She really did share it. Look at their faces. We are having an adventure. Look at the fish. <laughs> My friends always laugh at this page. I do too. All right, let's see what else Bear has to share. Oh, here's Alligator again. Will Bear share her ice cream? Goodness gracious, look at Frog's little, little hands. What do you think, friends? Should we share food? Hmm. No! <laughs> we do not share food. <laughs> Look at alligator. Sorry, little friend. But Bear knows that once food is in your mouth, look, her tongue has been all over that. Her germs are all over it. We don't know. Alligator might be allergic to chocolate. Bear is doing the safe thing, but alligator is a little sad. Wah -wah. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. What happened? The ice cream fell. Now they're both sad. Look at Alligator being such a good friend. She's comforting Bear. She's saying, there, 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 there. Did you see something on the corner of the page? Look at that. What do you suppose that is? Should we find out? Let's take a peek. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at what we have here. It's our old friend Ladybug. Remember at the beginning of the book, Bear had some berries? This page says, will Ladybug share her berry cake? <gasps> Ladybug took those berries and made a cake. Do you think she'll share? I wonder. Should we find out? Oh, yes, yay! Ladybug will share. She cut everybody a piece of cake. That is so kind, Ladybug. There's Bear and there's Lamb. Look at Frog with a strawberry hat. And there's Giraffe. And look at Alligator. Alligator says, I'm going to have a big bite with all my teeth. Look at them all so happy. That was a pretty happy ending, but wait, there's one more page. Are you ready? Do 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 Look at that! The last page has a picture of alligator and bear, and they each have a toothbrush. They probably needed it after all that cake. Well, that was a great ending to that story. Did you like that story, boys and girls? Back here, there was one question I wanted to show you. It says, what do you share? Maybe you can get help from your parents, my friends, and let me know what you share and your parents can post it in the comments. I would be really curious to know what it is that you share. Boys and girls, I am gonna say goodbye for now. One last picture of the plants. I hope you're having a great time at home today in the rain. I hope you found some fun things to do. I'll be back again tomorrow with some um, arts and crafts ideas with some of the shells that I found uh, yesterday when I was out boating. I love you. Have a good night.